Hi, I'm Matt Hayes. This is Mick Brown. You're very welcome to Wet Nets and you join us here today on what could be one of our toughest assignments yet. I know we always say it, Mick, but today we're on the banks of the Warwickshire Avon near the town of Evesham in Worcestershire on a pretty grey autumnal day. And our target is to try and catch one of the most elusive predatory species that you can find in fresh water, the Xander. Now to aid us in our quest, we've got a boat and some pretty modern technology, which you'll be finding out more about later. But first of all, Mick, the Xander, I mean, what do we know about it in the Avon? Well, for a start, Matt, it's not native in this area. These are illegal stock fish. And they've been in this water for, believe it or not, over 20 years, yet there's very little known about the whereabouts and the habits of them. There's a few caught accidentally by pike anglers, but very few people are actually targeting them. So it could be tough, I mean, genuinely, to try and track down these Xander. We know they're here. You've seen the water, Mick. How do you rate the conditions? Well, I mean, conditions at the moment, I would say they're spot on, Matt. You know, a bit of colour, a little bit of extra flow. Xander love to feed in, in that sort of condition, but. It's a bit of a knife edge, you know, there's a bit of a black sky, a bit more rain could put the whole river out, so it could go one way or the other. Couple of old boys, look. Doing the fishing. That'll be us in a couple of years, mate. Well, mate, I wouldn't mind a caravan down here. <laughs> Definitely be me anyway. I'll certainly be sitting by some river or other. Well, here we are. It's a really raw day. It's very, very windy, and it's quite difficult to control the boat in these conditions. But what we're doing is we're moving up the river and we're using the echo sounder here to try and locate the sort of bottom structure that might hold Xander. But what we're looking for is sudden or dramatic drop offs in depth or evidence of very large shoals of prey fish. But it also tells us what the bottom is made up of, and we do know that Xander like sandy or gravelly areas. That looks very interesting, Matt. Shall we give it a go here? Yeah, I've lined it up with the bush on the bank so I know exactly where it is. If you yeah. take us upstream, I'll get the anchor down. Okay, and we'll try a little bit of lure fishing around this area, see what we come up with. It's very, very coloured, isn't it? But Xander normally like coloured water, Mick. So we'll just try a few casts around this hole. Oh, I'm in, Mick. Oh, my word. <laughs> it's tiny. <laughs> Xander, is it? No, it's a tiny little pike. Oh. He's just moved a little bit downstream. Oh, and he's oh. come off. <laughs> just goes to show that uh, if the pike can find lures in this coloured water, then the Xander almost certainly can. Oh, I'm sure they will, mate. Oh, dear. If you're going to fish for Xander, then you want a freshwater dead bait. In this case, I've got a small rud. You can catch Xander on sea dead baits, but they're nowhere near as effective as these freshwater dead baits. So to hook it up, I'm literally going to place the top hook in the tail of the fish and the bottom hook along its body. The setup itself is pretty simple, actually. We're using a float fishing method because we're fishing from the boat. And the float I've got is quite a traditional pattern. It's called a ball bob. And basically the line runs through the center of the float. Above the float, I've got a couple of beads and above that, a stop knot to control the depth. And then below the float, another bead and then a wire trace with two size eight trebles on it. Now, pinched onto the top of the wire trace, I've got the equivalent of five SSG shots just enough shot to hold bottom in this flow. Basically, we're trying to lay the bait hard on the bottom because that's most often where the Xander feed. Now, to make that more attractive, I'm actually gonna puncture the bait with this knife to let some of the body juices out because that is what will attract the Xander in this fresh water. So just puncturing the bait like that allows the natural aroma of the body juices to come out. And there's the finished presentation. Fairly simple, very straightforward, and very effective.
Mick, I've got a bite here. I've got a definite, yeah, I've got to take right under the boat here, Mick. Good lad. On a dead bait. I'm in. That'll be a Zander. It could be. It's very coloured water. I can't see the fish yet, mate, but I'm into something fairly heavy. It is a Zander, Mick. Oh, yes. Oh, there she goes. Well done, mate. Well, there's a turn up, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I just had a little feeling about this spot. We've anchored up here, actually, to get out of the wind. <laughs> Will you need the landing net, mate? No, I'm all right. Hang on. He's just staying deep, mate. You sure? Yeah. All right, mate. Fighting like a typical Zander, Mick, just hugging the bottom. Oh, that's fantastic, Mick. I bet you're feeling really pleased with yourself, oh, aren't I'm you? I am very, very yeah. pleased with myself. A Warwickshire Avon Zander, look at that. Oh, you, you jammy devil. There you go, Mick. It's got absolutely gorgeous colours. Oh, look at that. Well, it was certainly worth switching to dead bait, wasn't it? What a fabulous fish. Yeah. We've beautiful. made a switch over to dead baits. We're just sitting out the, the gale here, fishing right underneath the boat. I've got a lovely Zander, what, about six pounds, Mick? Yeah, oh yeah. Beautiful fish. Now, the interesting thing about Zander is this double dorsal fin. The first one is almost perch-like, and the second one is almost like a grayling. You can see it's got a set of pectoral fins there, and then I guess these would be ventral fins pushed right forward, Mick, would they? Or do you think they're just a second set of pecs? It's no, just a second set of pecs, those are. Large eyes, and it's blowing an absolute gale here. But me and Brownie, we don't care because we've caught a Xander. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mick, if you want to do the honours there, it right. gives everyone a, a good look down the Xander's throat. You can see the, the fang-like teeth at the front. Well, the back one isn't even in, Matt, and the front one is only just nicked. Well, they're barbless hooks and that's come, come out, out a treat. That's come out a treat. You can see that you've got two fang-like teeth at the top of the jaw and two at the bottom almost like Dracula's fangs, and then a series of serrated teeth along the lower edge of the bottom jaw, which is the gripping teeth. Brilliant start. Hey. We've got one. Let's slip it straight back. Well, a Xander, unlike the pike, is perfectly at home in this coloured water. It uses its senses to locate its prey, and it is a very effective coloured water feeder. And I'm glad about that. On a day like today, that's the result, let me tell you. Sister, bloody hell. Oh, it's a pike, Mick. <laughs> right next to the boat. <laughs> well, it's not a surprise, I guess, after that small pike Ooh. earlier on. Oh, it's only a little one. Oh, it's a fish, though. Look at that. Beauty. <laughs> I can't get away from him, can right. I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought it was going to be a Zander, but uh, I didn't expect a pike in this murky water. Nice, colourful fish, though, isn't it? Very pretty. Well, I'm struggling a bit, so that's welcome, that is. Put it back. Doing better than I expected on we a day are. like this. We're doing very well, well considering the water's so coloured. Wish I hadn't have kissed that pike now. It's worse than kissing my missus. <laughs> She'd kill me for that. <laughs> I thought I had a bit of a pluck on the bait there, Mick. I'll wind down and have a look anyway. No, nothing there. It could just be a drop bait. That's a typical Xander behavior. Yeah, I'll just have a look at it. I quite often pick up a bait and drop it. Mm, no real signs, mate, actually. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm in a right mess here, man. Both rods snagged up. Come to the Warwickshire Haven and enjoy superb fishing. It's cost me about 30 quid so far today. Ha, 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 ha.
You ain't got 30 quid. I oh, know. Can you lend me 30 quid, Matt? I reckon that'll do us for our first day, do you? It wasn't that bad. It was pretty good, I reckon. We've caught a Zander, mate, and you can't knock that. No. And in these conditions, it's been a very, very cold wind today. Quite difficult fishing, really, altogether. Oh, well, another day. There's a bite, Mick. I told you we'd catch it when it drops off deep. Well, here we are on our second day. And although it's uh, not exactly warm, I've got a bit of an outlandish chartreuse and pearl combination on. And um, I don't mean a twin set, I mean lure-wise. It's one of those um, shad-wrap deep runners. Actually, it's the only one I've got in my box in that colour, and I thought I'll give it a go. And uh, it's produced an early pike. There you go. A nice fit Avon pike. Oh, well, it's slipping back. Whoa, <laughs> he slipped himself back. Perhaps you'd let me try that lure, mate. <laughs> Perhaps I wouldn't, actually, Mick. It's the only one I've got. How you been? I think this might be a good area. I've had a second yeah. bite here. The old Chartreuse Perils doing the business, and it's a Xander. Oh, Woo yes. On a lure as well, Mick. I'll tell you what, that's a result, Matt. It is, and I'll tell you what else. This lure isn't actually getting to the bottom, so he's come up off the bottom to take it. Oh, he's really fighting as well, Mick. What a great start to our second day. Oh, he's come off. <laughs> oh, well, you caught it anyway. Well, that's the yeah. way to unhook him, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Catch and release here, folks, yeah. on wet nets. Maybe I'll get a look in this time. We're doing the right thing, mate. Yeah. We're doing the right anyway. thing. What is it, Meg? Do you think it's a pike or a Xander? Oh, oh it's a Xander. It is a Xander, yeah. I've got one, yes. Hey, a Xander on a lure, eh, Matt? Brilliant. And uh, you wait till you see what lure it's on. This is always the worst moment, Mick, isn't it, when they're in on just one hook point. Oh, I've got a good grip. Well done, yeah. mate. <laughs> well, I'll tell you something about this lure. This is, um, goes by the unlikely name of a, a junior thunderstick. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, while you're laughing at that, I'll tell you, I bought these in Canada. And um, what, what I was doing with these in Canada, I was catching walleye, which are a cousin to the Xander. They're the, exactly the same body profile, except the markings are a little different. Oh, I'm so pleased with that. I don't know something about Xander. I get excited over every one. I think it's because they're almost an alien species. They're not supposed to be here, and everyone seems a surprise when I catch it. That's made my day, but I would like a bigger one. I don't want to put it back. I just want to keep looking at it. <laughs> but back it must go. Back into the murky depths. And it is murky down there, isn't it, man? You mentioned at the start of the programme that You've been aware of, of the Xander in the Avon for a number of years. Why do you think they're here? Well, certainly it wasn't official. I mean, whether, whether they got here through nature or an illegal stocking, nobody really knows. I suspect it was the latter. Uh, they started to appear in the 80s, and that was a time when people were definitely moving Xander around the country. And the Midland Rivers and Canals uh, received a lot of illegal Xander. Right. I'm sure people watching this programme, particularly club-style anglers, I've got a lot of fears about Xander being in the water because the perception is they're pack hunters, they go out, they kill loads of roach. What's your experience? Well, I mean, first of all, it, it's wrong to blame the Xander because it's not their fault. They didn't ask to be put into the river, so we've got to be careful we don't get carried away. You know, they're innocent in all this. Um, when they were introduced in the fens in the early days, uh, in the 60s, they did cause problems because it was an experiment that got out of control. But... In 20, 25 years, things have started to settle down, and now the Xander, it's pushed some of the pike out, and the numbers of predators and preyers reached a bit of a balance. And that's probably what will happen here, you know, providing everything else is equal as well. 
Well, I mean, certainly my experience is that wherever I've found Xander in the past, there's always been healthy stocks of prey fish. Well, that's it. I mean, where you're getting plenty of predators, whether they be Xander, eels, pike, whatever, there's got to be plenty of prey fish for them to eat. You know, you know, they can't live on fresh air, can they? Well, while Matt's taking us down the river to find another place to fish, I'll show you some of my jigs and also the other lures that I use for catching Xander. The way I'm trying to attract Xander is, is through vibration. Most predators, through various sensors in the body, in particular along the lateral line, they can detect the movement of the prey and it comes in as a vibration. Now all these lures are exploiting that. Let's look at the jigs first of all. Now the jigs, as they work through the water, it sets up vibration in the waggly tails and that soon gets Xander homing in onto them. Spinner baits, another good lure, they look like nothing on earth but they do set up a vibration as the blades rotate in the current. And then there's plugs. Now as you work a plug through the water, just the way that it works will set up vibration but here's the bonus, listen to this. All the best Xander plugs have got ball bearings inside them and that really draws the Xander in, they can really hear that and even in pitch blackness. How are we doing Mick? I can't see anything. Five foot on here. Well where we're going folks nobody knows. We're just making our way up a little backwater and I'm really trying to concentrate on the fish finder to make sure that we're not running over shallow water but we're doing okay. And uh, we're not even sure what we're going to find at the other end, actually, but uh, it could be very interesting. We've got to have 10 minutes here, Matt. Definitely. Wow, look at that. Whew, spectacular, isn't it? Weir pools really are fantastic places, aren't they? The mysterious pool, the rush of white water over the sill, and then who knows what lurks underneath the turbulent current. Lots of weir pools are very, very snaggy with various pieces of debris and trees and stuff that gets washed in by the floods and they're brilliant havens for predators. The confusing currents which makes it easy for them to sneak up on prey fish, the dappled light in the water, the amount of structure down there, it's all a perfect predator scenario. I'm in Mick on a plug. Could be another one of those little pike, I think. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Look at him go. Well, I don't know whether it's the oxygenated water in here, Mick, but these fish are going crazy. I've got to just get the lure out, Mick. What's that? It's a lovely little pike, that. Absolutely brilliant. Oh. I'm in now, Matt. Matt, I'm Are in. You in, Mick? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's a pike, Matt, but it's even smaller than yours. <laughs> I bet this pool's full of these little jack pike, you know. This is magic in there. Yeah, fabulous. Yeah. Yeah, this is difficult locating Xander, isn't it? You know, when you're on a river that you don't know, it's... Uh, it's a needle in a haystack, point. isn't it, really? Yeah. But you've got to start somewhere, really. It's been really enjoyable, hasn't it? Yeah. There's a lot of satisfaction to be gained from tracking the fish down and, and catching them on a new river. It's quite exciting, really. That's a good spot here, eh? I mean, my What's your line? Are you in? Yep. Good lad. I've got a very big Xander on here, Matt. I can see it, mate. I'm just trying to control the boat. It's very, very I'm, windy here. I know, I'm in a right mess here. The wind's taking us everywhere. Matt, I don't know whether I'm going to be able to get this. It's just hanging on one treble. It's well, a you have a go and I'll, I'll stay on the boat. We're in a right mess here, mate. We're in an absolute shocker here. Can't get to the fish. I've got it, Matt. Have you got him, Mick? I've got it. <coughs> nice job, Mick. Hey! <laughs> How about that, mate? Fantastic. 
Look at that spiky fin, razor sharp on the edges and also razor sharp round the, round the gills as well. You have to be very careful handling them, but you can get a good grip because they are very rough. Whoa. Taking my life into my hands here. Smile, brownie. <laughs> it's a clunker of a fish. That's the one we came for, mate. That's something going off downstream, mate. I'm going to hit it. I don't know whether the current's just caught it or what. Just feel down for it. Is it there? Yeah, it's a Zandra. Good lad. Oh, yes. Let me get my rod out of your way, me. All right. No, it's too powerful for a Zandra. It's a pike. Are you sure? Yeah, but it's... it may be a Zandra, mate. It's fighting like one. Yeah, it is. Oh, my God. It's a big Zandra. Might be a landing net job, don't they? No, it's not. No, it's not as big as I thought. It's not as big as the one you caught on the lure, mate. No. Hey, oh, Mick. Oh, yes. Nice Xander. Yeah. How about that, then? Lovely yeah, fish. If you can hold it tight... I'll, I've got it. Let me get under this gill for you. OK. Have you got a good grip? Yeah, I've got a very good grip. Really good grip. OK. Really good grip. Look at that. That's a chunky. Super job. Bit. On a dead bait as well. Yeah. Look at that. Well, we're having a fantastic time here because we're actually catching predators by all means on lures and, of course, and on baits. And this one took another float fish dead bait. Fantastic. Well, unfortunately, that brings us to the end of our Xander fishing adventure on the River Avon. We've caught our Xander, of course. I think it's been a great success, actually. Yeah, yeah. We've come down here to this river, which there's not a lot known about it in the Xander population. We've caught them. We've caught them on lures and we've caught them on bait. And I think that that is a spot of good fishing. We've had a tremendous time and we'll see you again next time when hopefully our nets will be wet once again. We'll see you then.